Reporting from Channel 4 News. Chance of tornadoes tonight! Hey guys, it's Brittany, and I know my set's kind of weird. I just, I'm loving this like news reporter vibe, but this, the way I have everything set up with my like furry blanket on my table and everything, we, okay, this is so messed up what I'm about to do. I kind of feel personally attacked by what I'm about to share with you, but at the same time, I don't, like, you guys will understand. So, today we are summoning this spirit. This spirit, her name is Veronica. When she was alive, the way that she died was she was playing paranormal games. She lived for the paranormal, woo! That's her whole life. She wanted to meet demons, she wanted to do this. Ah! I wonder who this sounds like, right? Like, I feel attacked. I feel personally attacked, but not attacked. I guess like, I don't know. I almost feel like this game is, is meant for me to play because I'm that girl. I live for the paranormal. I play these games all the time. Like, I'm not scared. I live, I live, I love this stuff. But the only difference between Veronica and Brittany, is my nail chipped? Veronica was very disrespectful towards spirits. And now you guys know with me, I am like overly energetic, friendly. I love spirits. I love ghosts. I want to help them. I want to communicate with them all the time. I wish I was a psychic medium. I want to change demons. Like, I want to bring them to the light side. Like, really, I just want to, I want to sit down with one and I just, I want to ask, like, why are you the way you are? Are you happy? Like, obviously you're not. I can solve that. So, now some people may be like, oh my God, this girl is crazy. I am crazy. Thank you. Thank you. But with Veronica, she was just very disrespectful. Now, some people say there is a connection with this Veronica story along with that Veronica movie that came out a few years ago. I actually made a whole video about the true story about that Veronica movie. I will leave it up above if you, if you guys want to check it out. So the game or the ritual that Veronica performed, played, is not the ritual that we are doing today. I think that is going to be part two. That is the ritual that apparently killed Veronica. The ritual that we are doing right now, tonight, is the ritual to summon Veronica. When she died from playing this paranormal game, she kind of became the new Bloody Mary. Who the heck is that? I'm always saying, you know, I want to be an urban legend when I die. Like, when I'm 100 year years old and I die, I want to be the next Bloody Mary. Like, I'm surprised this girl's name isn't Brittany. Like, really? I, really? It's so weird. So I just feel like it's meant for me to play. So on my phone right now, I'm actually on the page where I see the game. Yeah, the game that Veronica played when she died. So we're gonna save that for part two. Or should that be part one? I don't think I have all the stuff though. You need a red ribbon or thread. I don't think I have red, I got black. Okay, we're gonna play that game. That's gonna be part two. So, but that's the game that allegedly is what killed her. So for this ritual tonight, you're gonna need one mirror. So I'm gonna use my hot pink mirror that I've used forever on this channel, so it's like pretty 44 vibes. Sorry, girl, Amelia's right here. Um, a quiet room, a candle, matches, lighter, whatever, and a sense of respect. Girl, I live for this. I shower spirits with so much love. So that's the only difference between Veronica and I. I don't know if she can hear me. I'm just saying, you don't be rude to spirits, Veronica, if you hear me. So all you gotta do is face the mirror with your candle lit, and say Veronica, repeat Veronica nine times in the mirror. And then as soon as you are done doing that, you blow out the candle. So either Veronica will appear in the mirror, maybe she'll scratch my eyes out, maybe she'll try to since she wants to be Bloody Mary, 
So she's either gonna appear in the mirror or after you blow the candle and stuff, you've summoned her and she's always going to be with you. So whenever you're alone, you may feel a presence around you. You may see some movement like through your peripheral vision, you know, like a shadow walking by or when you're in front of a mirror, especially when you are in front of a mirror, like if you're taking a shower, like whatever you're doing, you'll brushing your teeth, like doing your makeup in a the mirror. They say to be cautious. If the mirror starts fogging up or something, I mean like why else would it fog up? If, I mean if you're taking a shower then yeah, but to be cautious. If the temperature changes when you're in front of a mirror, like just be cautious of your reflection. And when you're alone at night, like maybe when before you fall asleep, listen, you know, maybe you'll hear a voice or something like that. So let's see what happens and then in part two, eh? in part two, sorry, excuse in part two, we will do the game that Veronica played, which is really creepy. So I need like a red thread or something. I don't know. I need like other stuff as well. So I'm going to set up and let's get into this. I'm really excited. All right. Excuse me. Sorry. So let's do this. Ooh, it's a good thumbnail. I don't know. Dream tonight. Be a teenage dream tonight. You make me feel like I'm leaning up. Okay. Go like, is that weird? Veronica, 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 Veronica. I'm gonna call it one more time. I'm gonna say your name nine more times, but one more time, y'all know what I mean? Veronica, 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 Veronica. Ah! Oh, sorry, it's just my hair. Oh my god, you guys, my reflection is freaking me out. <laughs> oh man, that's freaking me out. Okay. So that's, apparently she's like with me now. Why? Like with me now? Why? Like with me now? Why? My reflection is freaking me out. Like in the dark, ah! But apparently, like she's like with me now. And when I'm, whenever I'm near a mirror, whenever you know, like I'm alone, <laughs> like right now, 
apparently like I'm supposed to see something or I'm supposed to hear her or feel her okay like my reflection freaks me out like I really just don't think it's me <laughs> it freaks me out like what is she hello 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 can you wave to me like are you really me sorry people <laughs> people watching this gonna be like what is this girl on I'm so fascinated by mirrors and reflections and just the whole mirror world and all that stuff. It's so fascinating to me, but it scares me so much. But I'm living, like, as you can tell, I get so excited over this. Like, if my reflect, oh, I'm so scared. If my reflection, ah, if she like waved at me, <laughs> I would die. Girl, can you wave? Like, wave like this. Oh, if she did that when I put my hand down. Woo! Okay. I'm getting so freaked out. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Oh my god, oh my god! Ah! Veronica. Veronica. Somebody knocked back. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. This is like, oh my god, I'm getting all freaked out now. Oh my god, imagine this mirror like flew across the room. <laughs> ah! Okay. Anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. This was so much fun, even though I'm freaking out. I hope that you're excited for part two, where we're gonna play the actual game that Veronica played. We're gonna see what happens. Like. I haven't even read about it, so like, I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but we gonna do it because that's what we do! So, I hope you guys- Oh my god, this is recording, right? Like, it's still recording the audio. All right. <clears throat> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you rock my world in the song lyrics. Michael Jackson, hashtag team, birdie44, hashtag Beretta wins, hey! And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!